little bit of a later curve than you guys um, out there in Kansas City. Uh, Ellis County, as an outpatient, we have four positives, but our service area, which encompasses 21 counties, has 13 positives so far. And then we currently are treating two um, positive patients here at Hayes Medical Center. Um, they're in a, a unit all by themselves that we've created, uh, which is similar to an ICU unit. Luckily, none of them uh, have been ventilated. Both of them arrived for um, respiratory symptoms. Uh, we have access to, uh, for, we have lots of access for folks to get care if they need it. There's a hotline through the hospital. We're up and running on telehealth for almost all of the clinics. And then we're still seeing patients in the clinics. We want to make sure that everyone is getting the care that they need uh, and not avoiding other health concerns that may be coming during this time. So we're really encouraging all patients to reach out to all of their providers and, and we'll sort out what's the best way for them to be seen. Um, but technology has been on our side so far, so we're getting to be able to get people seen. Uh, we're doing kind of the same thing. There's no visitors at the hospital except for um, uh, special circumstances. You're going to see staff wearing masks to protect the patient. Um, cafeterias, grab and go. So you're going to see a few changes here at the hospital, but all to kind of help protect patients and staff for, to stay healthy. And, you know, I think that we have the advantage of being on the, the back end of the wave of this virus so we could see that there had been, you know, shortages and needing for preparation. So our team began meeting, you know, early March on preparing for this as a team and then having the advantage of being part of the, of the health system um, and working through their um, uh, resources has been really helpful. So at this point, um, we have, I think, all the resources we need. We created an 11-bed uh, what we're calling a medical care unit where we're, we're putting the um, MCU patients. We were able to make all of those 11 rooms negative pressure rooms uh, with the help of uh, a local uh, engineering company. Um, but so because we had time to prepare, I feel like we are really doing well with all of our PPE. Um, I think PAPRs, I think around the country, um, is something that we continue to be very careful with use. But in terms of N95 and surgical masks, um, I, I feel like we're, we're doing really well with our, our supply. I can't test every resident. Um, I have supplies to test hospitalized patients. We hope to have in the next week to 10 days an in-house machine that will be able to do a, two tests every hour. Um, but we're waiting on, as everyone else is, all the supplies to be able for the machine to be up and running, which we'll use for only in-house or in-hospitalized patients. But currently, we're testing outpatients who have symptoms. So we're still doing outpatient testing, unlike Kansas City. Um, and of course, testing anybody with respiratory symptoms. We've, again, because we were, you know, we could tell that testing was going to be a problem. So with the, with the help of Quest in our laboratory, we've become extremely resourceful on how to make testing kits um, and uh, split out VCM media with the help of the lab under sterile conditions and then be a little creative on testing swabs. So we were able to expand our testing. So right now we can, we're able to test those that, that need to be tested, but we're not at a level to test asymptomatic patients. You know, we've made some plans uh, for a surge um, that has required some creativity both with nursing staff and providers. Our current status is we have adequate staff and like uh, the other physicians mentioned, you know, the OR is quiet, so we've moved some folks around, and we're also doing quite a bit of cross-training. Uh, being the, the, you know, referral center for 21 counties, you know, we're preparing for a, a larger census if need be, um, and so we've, you know, been pretty creative in some options uh, to help with that if needed.